Oh, hey, folks, Bridges here. Uh, quick video on reminding you how we're going to do uh, the code for your um, VEX V5 robot. <clears throat> now, this time we've made a claw bot. Uh, perhaps you're watching this video and you wanted to uh, code some other type of robot. Uh, it's okay, it's all done in the same place. We're going to start by Googling for VEX code V5. And that first result brings us to the website VEXCODE V5. It's code V5.vex.com. There we go. Once we get here, um, we've got some, some options. We've got some preloaded um, files that we can open. If we go up here to File, Open. That's, that's going to be your file saved on your computer. That was the wrong place. If we go to File, Open Examples, here are all the preloaded uh, canned VEX programs for robots. Uh, and there's a lot of them here. The one that we have to be looking for, as I said, was the Clawbot. Okay, with two, two motors. And um, look, this one here has the controller. So let's try that one. And there is your preloaded uh, program for using the controller to use the V5 motors to control your robot. Now, that's all good and fine, except in this particular class, we had to swap out some of the motors, some of the smart motors. Um, we used the, the older Cortex motors, the 393s. And if you recall, the, way, the ones that we were swapping out were going to be the not the arm motor, but the claw motor. So we're actually not going to use this claw motor in here. We're going to create our own. So the way that I want to do this is copy this entire block over here in this space. And then we're going to copy this entire block over next to it as well. So the way that we can do that is we can right click and we can duplicate. And that gives us the whole thing again. Right click and duplicate. Okay. Except we're going to, we're going to change it out. And instead of using the claw motor, let's get rid of that. And in the place of where claw motor used to be, we're going to put a 393 motor, which is the old type. So if we look over here in our toolbox, we don't see anything under motion. It's only left motor, right motor, arm motor, and claw motor, which we're not using it. We're not using that anymore. So we need to configure a new motor. And as you probably remember, we're going to click up here in the upper right. That's that's the button for the port. That's how we configure a new device. We add a new device to the brain, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to choose configure, and we're going to come down here and look. And basically, we can get rid of that claw motor, honestly, if we if we want to. I'm, I'm actually not sure what to click on to get rid of that, so I'll just ignore it. And I will click on the add a device button at the bottom. And you can scroll through and see the types of devices that are available to add. There's the motor that we should be using if we had a, a bunch of them, but we don't. <clears throat> so we're going to use um, the old one, which is a three-wire motor. Okay, It's down here under the three-wire option. Not an expander, just three wires. Okay, cool. Now we can look through and find our 393 motor. And if we look, we look, we're not seeing it. Not, oh, there it is. That's a little picture of the motor controller that you have plugged your, your, your two-wire motor into to, to make it a three-wire motor with a controller. Now it says to select a port. I'm just going to select A, which is the top port on the side of your V5 brain. There's a little slot on the side. Okay, and you can call it motor 393A. You could rename it to be uh, claw motor 2 if you wanted, but I think that might just be confusing. So we'll leave it as motor 393A. And here's where you can choose normal or reverse. And I'm going to leave it as normal, not knowing which way that actually is going to go on my, my robot. When I test it, if I find that it's going the wrong way, then I'll just come back in here and reverse it. But for now, I'll leave it, and I'll say done. Now I've got a new device that I can use. And over here in my toolbox under motion, I've got a new option. Look here. I've, not, I've now got... Right there, motor 393 options, which were not there before. So that's great. Let's get out of the configuration menu by clicking the port button again. Now we're simply going to come over here and replace that old code that uses the claw motor to open. Instead, we're going to spin the motor 393 forward. 
And then when it's not being pressed, R1 that is, then we're going to stop the motor, C93. We'll repeat the process once again down here by erasing the claw motor and adding 393. Okay. Now, the first button was button R1, makes the motor go forward, so you would automatically realize that when you press button R, R, wait a second, this should be R2. It was R1 before, now it's R2. And this should make it go backward, reverse. And then when R2 is not pressed, we're going to stop, not the claw motor, but we're going to stop the 393 motor. Hmm? That's a very good point, Jason. That is exactly what we're going to do. So at this point, we can trash these old claw motor blocks altogether if we want to. We wouldn't want to leave them because we wouldn't want two things to happen when R1 is pressed. That might get confusing for the robots. We'll trash it. And that way, this way, when R1 is pressed, only one thing happens, and that's this algorithm. And when R2 is pressed, it's only this. Cool. <laughs> what Jason has just said to me is, should we initialize the motor? Should we set a velocity? Now, you look. In the original code, it sets the initial velocity of the claw motor to 30%, which means it goes more slowly. Well, if you remember, that claw motor is not being used. So we need to set the velocity of our 393 to 30%. I'm going to set this one aside just so I don't forget. And I can get it right here. There's the motor 393. And I bring it over and I change that velocity to 30%. At this point, we've now successfully duplicated that block in the correct way and we can trash it. Folks, that's all it takes. You can make notes down here to change it, to update the notes. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. I would note something around, or something to the point of replace claw motor with 393. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or ask a classmate. Thanks for watching.